y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And today we are on the Carnival Splendor, but that is irrelevant. We are here for a cruise video specifically answering your questions about how it works when you do a back to back cruise. So that means you've just taken a cruise and you're not getting off the ship. You're staying on, you're doing a second cruise, whether you're in a different cabin or the same cabin, you're on the same ship. That's the goal. So, like I just said, not all back-to-backs are equal. If you are staying in the same room and you do not have to pack, your steward doesn't have to move all your stuff, that is vastly superior. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not hard. If you do have to move rooms, you're supposed to what? Hang, put all of your things in your suitcase except for your hanging clothes. Right. And then your steward will actually move your hanging clothes and your suitcases to the next ship. If you watched my ship tour, I just did a ship tour, the entire Splendor, and I saw several little stewards with a whole bunch of hanging clothes and suitcases running around the ship. Like, they usually put them on a trolley. No, they did not have a really? trolley. Oh, God. And they looked like- Oh, bless their hearts. They, they needed 12 more arms. I felt like saying, do you need some help? I could carry things. Uh, but they, they were not stopping for five seconds. They were, wow go, go, going. So for a back to back, if you're staying in the same room, you don't have to do anything in regards to your luggage, to your clothes, to your cabin, but there are still a few requirements for the ship. So what was it? Two nights ago? Yes. We got an envelope outside our door in our mailbox where you would usually get your disembarking information and your luggage tags. We got an envelope with our back to back information and tell them about that mom. We um, got a letter and it said we had a couple options. We could either just stay on the ship, which means we had to be down the stairs at like 8.30. 8.30 in and one of the rooms it said, I don't remember exactly, it's different for every ship. Sometimes it's the theater, right. sometimes, sometimes it's, it's the, the comedy room. club, sometimes it's the dining room. It will say on your letter where you're supposed to meet if you want to stay on the ship. And they just go through your paperwork, give you your uh, new sale and sign card so yes and they um, if you have any charges from the last cruise that aren't taken care of they'll take care of all of that um but typically it's like you know we are we're on a ship but we are going in and out of customs right so as, we, right so after, you still have to do that even if you're staying on the ship and they take you down in a group walk you through customs after everyone's got off the ship but before this the new staff, sale before yeah. the staff gets off the ship. And before the new people get before on the, the ship. Get, they walk yes. you through, then you walk back on the ship, and then... And then you're good to go. On the ship. You're on the ship. And you can yeah. stay on the ship all day. Yes. You can also choose, like us, we're going to get off the ship because we're in Sydney, Australia. How often are you in Sydney, Australia? Uh, well, if you live here, probably pretty often, but we don't live here. We live in Alabama. Uh, so we're going to get off the ship and we're going to walk around and see what there is to see. This is our second time in this port. Yes. Uh, but there's there's always new stuff to see. So if you are getting off the ship, there are typically different rules. Sometimes you have to get up and get off very, very early. Sometimes like today, there's no set time. We called to make sure because it didn't say on the letter. Right. And they just said you can get off. At any point throughout the day that you want to get off, you just have to be back between 12.30 and 2.30, which is a very, very early. Actually, 10.30 to 2.30. 10.30 to 2.30. So when you get off, it does, it does let you know you have to keep your passport, your... Um, in transit boarding pass, it's a little piece of paper. It's a little paper they give you saying you're a back-to-backer and a kind of declarations form for Australia. Australia is very strict on what you can and cannot bring right. into or out of the country. So you may not have that card. They called it an IPC card um, on any other cruise. Uh, yeah. We've done back-to-backs in Europe, out of Dover, England, um, yeah, and out of Sitavecchia, and we didn't have to have any of that. Mm -hmm. Mom's done one from Barcelona to Athens, Athens back to Barcelona. She didn't have to have yeah. that. Have you done any in the Caribbean? Yes, I've done a lot in the Caribbean. Yeah, Mom's much cooler cruiser than me. 
So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go down and we're gonna get off the ship. I will film everything that I'm allowed to film. If you saw the embarkation video from this this cruise or any of the other ones, you're typically allowed to cruise or to cruise to video everywhere but the actual security line. And since yes. we're not actually getting on the ship with all our luggage and brand new stuff, not a hundred percent sure what I'll be able to film when we're down there, but I'll film everything I can. And if there's a place I can't film, I will tell you what it was. Good enough. Let's go. Good morning. Thank you. All right, y'all. So we walked out of the ship, scanned our card, and then right where I showed you that sign that said I couldn't film anymore, we went through customs, which essentially give them a little card that says, don't have any nuts, don't have any meat products, I don't have any plant products. I don't have any shoes with dirt on them. They really are worried about the sh dirty shoes. Um, and then you pass or you fail. It always says, if, you didn't, if you're not sure, declare it. Uh, we're just here for a couple hours, so. Have a safe trip. We don't have anything. Safe, safe, safe trip. Uh, we walk through and now we're gonna go downtown. When we get back for the other half of the getting on for the back to back, I will film that as well. All right, y'all, it is several hours later. It's almost two o'clock, last call for um, back-to-backers to get back on the ship is 2.30. There are still lots of people getting on the ship. That's a different story. To get back on, you need your passport and this in transit card. So they put them in our mailbox with the declaration form that we had to turn in when we got off. We're gonna go get back on the ship, these two things. Should be pretty easy. They usually walk you through pretty fast. Is one in transit. They sent us in the rest of the guests. Better. Said even better. Even better. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. All right, straight up the escalator. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah. <sighs> so far, everything's the same as boarding. It's usually the same process, just a little faster since they've already checked us. All right, we got a stamp. They checked that I am who I say I am. And we're gonna go through up to security. Be able to film in security, but they're just gonna have a little uh, metal detector kind of thing like at the airport. And then we'll be on the ship. There we go, there's security. So now we are all done. We can go ahead, get back on the ship. It's after 1.30, so all the rooms are done, but of course our room, we're staying in the same one, is already ready, has all our stuff, haven't unpacked, repacked, done the suitcases, Let's get on the ship. There goes mom, she did not wait for us. Now she waited. All right. To the room, maestro. All right, we are back on the ship, back on our trusty balcony from this morning. And everything went just fine. We went to muster. You do have to go to your muster station. Try to remember because you won't have your new sign and sale card and the people who check your ship don't know which muster you're supposed to go to. We couldn't remember. 
which means if we actually needed our muster station, we'd be in big, big trouble. Yes. That's why they put it on your sign and sale card, which you normally have with you. Yeah, so, always. And we didn't have that coming this back is on the, the ship. only time we didn't have it because we had to get our new one. So, yeah. either way, we have two more things. When they give you your envelope with all your stuff to get off the ship and back on, you also have a complimentary drink coupon that you can use anytime this cruise for a drink up to $16. Yeah. Or, and, not or. Um, a complimentary back-to-back -back photo coupon. So it says tonight from 5.15 to 6.30, which is during our dinner, right in the middle of our dinner, uh, we can go up and take a special photo and they'll give it to us for free. Yeah, we just have to worth it. bring our plates with us, I guess. We're gonna try to go on the way to dinner since the first night, it's always a zoo getting into the dining hall anyways, and we should be fine. So if, uh, if it works out, I'll show you how that goes. But other than that, that's it. That's how you do a back-to-back. -back. Stay on the ship, hard. get off the ship, do what you want to do. You're, you'll be fine. Do as many cruises as possible. That's the goal. Bye, y'all. Bye.